I'm William, and today I'm going to help you do some amazing things with your Kindle and just a mere Android phone. Huh. All right, first thing we're going to do is we are going to get apps off of your Android phone onto your Kindle Fire that aren't already in the uh, Amazon market without rooting. So you will not have to root your uh, Kindle, which I thought you had to do, but I'm really happy you don't because now you don't have to, you know, void the warranty or anything like that. So what you do is you are going to download a few apps for this and then you'll be able to get all your apps onto here that, already aren't, that aren't already in the market. So alright, let's get started. Alrighty, first you're going to need to install a few apps on your Android phone before you can get all the goodness onto this phone. Alright, first thing you're going to do is install something called File Expert. What I love about this is it's free and it has more than one use. Alright, so once you install it, you're going to go over something that says My Apps, select it, it's right there on the front of the page of the uh, File Expert, okay, and then you're going to go down to the other uh, app you're going to need to install, Dropbox. What I love about this is both of these are free, so you don't need to buy anything. Now, if you use Sugar Sync or something like that, you could use that, but I think Dropbox is the easiest. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the check mark there, and then you're going to, going to select Backup at the bottom. When you select Backup, it's going to say Now Handling, Dropbox, and then within a few quick seconds, whoops, see, already done, it's all backed up. All right, next what you're going to need to do is you're going to, one second, you're going to need to get that APK onto your Kindle Fire. Now you could email it to the Kindle, you could uh, do a number of things, but uh, I'm not really going to show you any of those right now because uh, you know it's easier with Dropbox. But what you're going to do is you can uh, simply go to your computer, plug this in, and go to, uh, I believe it's Backup Apps, and just open it up and drag it that file over here, it's an APK file. Okay, once you're done with that, you will just install it onto your Kindle. And then voila, you have Dropbox on your Kindle Fire. Now, if you need more information about that, I can do a video just on that to help you out. But since it's on there now, you just, uh, I'm waiting for Wi-Fi to kick in. So it's on there. So while that's going over there, let's say you want to read Barnes & Noble Nooks on Kindle. Forbid, right? Nobody, uh, Amazon hates this. So you might want to download that app before, you know, they ban it or something. Okay. Barnes & Noble Nook. You've already installed it on your um, Android, but you want to read those books on a bigger screen. So you just make a check, you click backup, it's going to back up, and I've already backed it up so I don't want to do that again, but it's backed up, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Dropbox on your Android phone. So you open up Dropbox, and you go over, I made a folder called APK, but what you're going to do is you're going to go to Uploads up here at the top, and select other files and then you go over it now it's going to show all where your uh, root explorer and you're, whoops, one second. you're going to go over here to backup apps and that's what you're going to see on your computer too by the way when you do the other thing the Dropbox. So you see it on here these are all the ones I backed up or you know backed up so you go over here to Barnes & Noble Nook is at the top you make a little check and you click upload now it says there's already one there because I did it earlier but you don't have to worry about that so it's going to be uploading at the top. Well, it, it's done. So um, it, normally it might take a little longer depending on the big of the app. It's it's a big game, then it'll take a while. But if it's like uh, Google Docs or uh, such, like RDO or Chrome to phone, that'll be really quick. Okay, so now I've uploaded it. I go over here to my Dropbox on my thing, and I don't know why it's not connecting to Wi-Fi. One second, let me see if I can fix that. It might work without it, let, let me see, since I've already downloaded it. Okay, so let's go over to Dropbox, if my Kindle Fire will stop freezing up. Yeah, 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 force close. Okay, yeah, I got Wi-Fi, okay, all good. You go to your Dropbox, with it, it might not show up there if you uh, just install it, you might have to go to Apps, and go to, one moment, you might have to go to, my thing's very strange. Go to, okay, now here you go. You see there's Nook I already have installed. But you're going to go over to Dropbox down at the bottom, under D, obviously. Select it. And then you go over to APK where I uploaded it. And there's Barnes & Noble Nook. Select it. 
It's going to download and it's going to open up your install window, replace application, it's already installed, whatever. Don't worry about that. Mine just says that because I have already installed it. So it's on there. Now you just go to your home and it should be on the carousel. Well, it's not, okay. Go over here to oh, this thing again. All right, there you go. Barnes & Noble Nook. You can now read all of your Nook books on your Kindle. So let me see if I have an example so I can show you without having to. Uh, I just might as well download one. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that'll take a while. So we can do other stuff while it's doing that. All right, that's installed. What I also hate about the Kindle, well, that's installing if we can get off of that. What I hate about the Kindle is that it doesn't have a good Facebook app. I mean, if you like those other ones, good, you know, like they have a Seismic is a good one, but I really don't like Seismic, and I just like the normal Facebook app. So what you're going to do is, if your Kindle doesn't freeze up every 10 seconds, uh, you're going to go over to your phone, open it up, and here, I'm just going to go to our recents. File Expert. There you go. You go to Apps. And I like the Facebook Messenger too, and I like a bigger keyboard, so I also backed up that one. So you go over to Facebook, A, B, C, D, E, F, Facebook right there, and you're going to do what we did earlier. You're going to check it off and click Backup. And then you're going to go over to Dropbox, oops, already there, like you did before, Uploads, Other, Find It Under Backup Apps. And then once it's done with that, you're going to go over and open up Dropbox on your Kindle. No. Oh, okay, there we go. So then you'll go to Dropbox, like I said, and you'll install the APK, like uh, we did the other before. All right, now you go to, here I have Chaos, I download it. This, now you are reading a Nook book on a Kindle. So it's a Nook book Kindle. Uh, so now you can, so if you had a Nook before or just bought the books on your computer, you can now, look at this. Oops, I just lost my space. Well, whatever. There you go. It's, it looks like kind of blurry right now, but when you move over, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Here, let's go to a chapter. Butterfly effect. There you go. Looks amazing. And the page turns are really cool. The normal Kindle doesn't read like that. So you can select, you can do everything you normally can. It looks like it's made for the Kindle. The rendering is amazing. The quality, it's, you know, they, um, the reason that they work so well is because they probably have something in there where it says if the screen's bigger, it automatically adjusts. The only thing I don't like about this is when you sideload apps, is what it's called. Uh, you'll see, it's a little blurry. See, all these sideloaded ones are blurry, and I don't like that. But, hey, I mean, you can't get them, and now you got them on there, so it's pretty awesome. All right. Also, what you can do is you can put Google Docs on there, and that looks amazing, like I said, on the uh, Kindle. They show up really well. But the only thing I don't like about Google Docs is that, um, well, I forgot what I don't like about it. But, see, you can do all your stuff. It looks like it was made for it. Oh, I remember. The Google Docs has a tablet version for bigger tablets, but it doesn't recognize the Kindle Fire as a tablet, so it looks like it's a normal phone one, but that's fine. So you also have Dropbox. I put Facebook on there, a Vital, whoops. Vital Player, I think it's way better than Mobo Player. It uh, plays almost any format you can throw at it, and it's free. I tried putting the Pro version on here, but it wouldn't work. So there's only a few advertisements. Don't worry about it. it it's amazing. Um, so you open that up, and you can put, you can load videos that aren't supported by the Kindle and watch them on here. It's like if you have some family videos or. Uh, if you recorded some videos off of TV or something like that, or bought some maybe off of iTunes. I don't know if you can do that, but... So you go over here, and I also put Kitan on here, because the Kitan on here is $5.99, and it's an older version. It's not the upgraded, so I sideloaded that. I also put RDO. That was recently taken off the Amazon App Store. I don't know why, but it's very strange. So I put it on here, and it works just fine as the other one except for the icon. Uh, let's see what else. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> that is awesome. I was really shocked that Amazon did not already have a YouTube on there. And no, you know, you can, they have a YouTube downloader, but they don't have an actual YouTube one. So I got the official Google one. You can't back up this one. Uh, some of the apps that are already on your phone, like Gmail and such, you can't back them up. So I had to find this on XDA Developers. So they have a lot of the uh, system apps that you need. Alrighty, so here's you two. You can watch them all. They look amazing. I don't recognize these at all, so I'll just go to my channel. There you go. Let's see my Star Wars book. See, it looks really nice on a tablet. No blurry or anything. Let's see. 
and it shows in HQ, high quality. Look at that. It's like it was made for it. Well, it's blurry anyways because my phone I used to record that's not that good, but see? And you can just look at the related videos, the comments, no comments, which is sad, but so you get off that. I put YouTube on there. Let's see what else. Let's go over here. Some will not work. I tried putting Tetris off my phone onto there and it didn't work, but I already bought the Tetris one on here, so it's not a big deal. Revision. I love watching the life hacker uh like life hacker videos and they are available on revision. Like I said, all the apps scale really well. Look at that. No blurry things or anything. It looks like it was made for the Kindle. And it's got some weird guy in front. Unless you like him, I'm sorry. Alright, so we go over here. And then I put the Humble Bundle. I just bought that. That's really awesome. Lost. I watched that. You know, Droid TV. I recommend this, by the way. I can do a video on that later. But I highly recommend that. And then my mom. No. A Gmail. I put Gmail on there. Gmail is available on uh, XDA Developers. I can't back that up. I'm really sorry. Uh, I, I can put it online if you guys request it. But it's really easy to find if you look for it. So I download the APK of that. Some weird problems I'm having with it is it will not refresh the uh, it will not refresh the inbox and won't message me. But if you just you know occasionally need it on here, then it's really nice. But I'm hoping to find a fix for that. Chrome to phone, epic right there, amazing. On my uh, computer, I right click a link, sends here instantly, like not even two seconds later, it appears on here on the screen to read. So if I'm about to leave or something like that, you can do that. Well, let's see. Puffle launch. I don't know why I didn't just buy it, but testing out some stuff. Let's see. What else? Facebook Messenger. Needed that. Uh, read it later. I'm going to do a list of stuff that you, you know, need to download that's official already, but uh, that's one you need to download. Uh, Google Music, which is awesome. Here, let's, let's look at that. All right, check it out. These are all my music from the computer. Now, this one, for some reason, is not like the other ones. The uh, album covers are really blurry, but it shows what's on there. Let me see if it looks better like this. Yeah, a little. Okay. So there, these are all... Uh, okay, well, these first ones are on my thing, but let's go to somewhere that aren't on there. Okay. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. He is not on my Kindle. So I have Smile. Let's turn up the volume a little. Might be a little weird in the beginning because it's buffering and such. One second. Whoops. There. Ah. And sometimes. Load up your face with gladness. Heard every trace. It's, it's, it's glitching just because it's mine. It normally doesn't do that. When it has to buffer, it glitches a lot. But if it's already buffered, then you're good. See? No glitching. And you can do other stuff. Read a book while you're listening to that amazing... Robert Downey Jr. Or uh, go over here, smile, yeah, and you just click on there to go back to it. And then pause it. So you can also make them available offline that are on streaming. So that's really awesome. So you can listen to them later that aren't on your device technically. Alrighty, we're almost about done here. Let me just show you a few more apps I side loaded. And like I said, I'll make a list later of everything. I put on their DC Comics because I like Comicsology, but this is just for DC and I. I like DC over the other comics, so. Uh, Dropbox, put on there, let's see. Google Voice, awesome. I can listen to my voicemail and respond to some text, texts on here. And uh, you can't call, sadly. There's no microphone on this, so it's kind of lame. Uh, let's see what else. eBay was already on there, didn't need to download that extra. Google Talk, who uses it, but you know, I can do that. And, uh, well, that, that looks like it. That's all I got. And if you want to do something besides Dropbox, like I said, you can use SugarSync or Ubuntu One. That's a little harder setup. But you can use um, SugarSync or I have Box. Where is that? Right there, Box. I have Box. You can do that too. Free 50 gigs this month only if you sign up. 
So that was pretty awesome. You can put a lot of APKs on there. So then you just use that. You just download it, and voila, you got a non rooted Kindle running apps that aren't supposed to be on there. So have fun with that. It's really awesome. If you need any help, I will hopefully respond as quick as I can in the comments. Thank you, and have an awesome day with your amazing Kindle and brag to all your iPad friends.